Right, okay, yes, yes, guys, we don't need Stratford upon Avon. Oh, He's on the telly. I'm on the telly, He's on the telly. I'm on the telly. He's on the telly. Come on, people, we've got festive crumble. We've got the rice pork can't reach. No nuts in the drinks over there. Don't panic. Right, okay, this is the Victorian market down in uh, Stratford upon Avon, and we're going to kick off with uh, a bit of food. Now, we were down at um, the Victorian market. Oh, she's. T who turned the lights out? <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a good start. <laughs> now, this one won the uh, best food stall down uh, at uh, Worcester, and we did a vlog down there, and also a, uh, a pull-on video. <laughs> that's a cheap, you've busted it, haven't you? <laughs> Hot roast pork baps. <laughs> there we go. There's your uh, certificate for, uh, yeah. Your award down there. So you got your roast pork, your uh, gravy stuffing and everything, and right next door, you can get your pudding. You got your festive uh, homemade warm apple or winterberry crumbles. Looks very nice, as you see. We're uh, kitted out in the uh, Victorian costume. I was hoping we'd be able to have a look inside the uh, in the pot there, but that wasn't going to happen. <laughs> right, we got Scarrett Stone here as well. He was down in Worcester as well. So uh, yeah, he was the one that was selling the uh, coffee at a very respectable price down in Worcester. You're right, boss. Yep, lovely jubbly. So there you go. You can get your hot chocolate and uh, your donuts on this one. Right, let's uh, start moving him up then and we'll uh, move up to the fun fair. Now this one's um, a Bob Wilson's fun fair, also in conjunction with uh, Stratford Council. All right, guys. Hey, how are you doing? Jacket spuds. Yeah, we do like our jacket spuds as well. I, I just prefer mine with a bit of butter. I'm not fussy. Right, yeah. German uh, sausages. It's nice that it tells you uh, what's uh, actually in these sausages as well because half the time you just see the name and you ain't got a clue what it is. Good range of sauces to go with it. Now Stratford um, Victorian Fair covers a larger area than the uh, Stratford Mop Fair. Um, there'll be over 300 stores down here and it's open on the... Well it was open yesterday but uh, nobody told anybody <laughs> so it was quiet on the Thursday. But it's open on the Friday, this is uh, being uploaded this afternoon. Uh, then um, it's also open on the Saturday. And I do believe it's... She's hiding, she's hiding. I do believe it's open on the Sunday as well, aren't you? Yeah. So, yeah, as you see, I mean, you could, and these sausages, folks, are huge. Why, they really are big sausages. Yeah, nice one. Got curry sauce as well. Oh, yeah, we're, all, we're always laughing when we got the curry sauce. That's a bit different. Rotisserie sausages. I don't think I've ever seen one of those before. So what are these then, Dal? Right, okay, boiled sausages. She's hiding, she's ducking, she's ducking. I'm gonna I'm gonna spare her. her. Her knees are gonna give way. Let's move over and go and have a look at the uh, hot roasted chestnuts. <laughs> My nuts are roasting on an open fire. <laughs> These always do quite well when you're uh, in Tenerife. Uh, so they're selling them on the pots as well. And I've got to say, folks, these do smell really nice. So you can get your drinks on there as well. Oh, darling, all right. So what are you selling on here then, love? Handcrafted, Handcrafted soaps. 
So yeah, as I say, there's over 300 stores down in Stratford, so do allow yourself uh, plenty of time to come and have a wander around. Uh, it does cover about well, half a dozen streets, I would have said. So yeah, easily. Uh, yeah, and it does get very busy on the Saturday, so yeah, make sure you uh, leave yourself plenty of time. I love you. <laughs> right, what we got here then? Namaste Asian kitchen. Another one that smells really nice as well. Yep, noodles with your uh, chilies and your peppers in it. All right, boss. How you doing? What's this then? Sweet and sour. So you got sweet and sour chicken. Yes. Got, got, got your pineapple in it. Where the top in the wall? You're the best. Simply the best. <laughs> yeah, that looks. Uh, garlic chicken. Do you know what? You'll either brew me after you're having that. We'll be down here tomorrow night. So. Oh, she'll be having a bit of that, all right. <laughs> right, come on, let's move it on, because uh, this is only supposed to be a short video. Uh, we're going to come back tomorrow and uh, do your main vlog under the uh, Christmas lights. I've always fancied having one of these uh, ornaments in my garden. When I've got more time, I'll uh, when we come back tomorrow, I'll have to have a look and uh, see how much they are. Right, so we're uh, almost up by the fair then. Yeah, we haven't got time to go around uh, all the stores. I mean, we're going to be here for hours if I did that, so... We'll try and just keep this one more as a, a fun fair uh, video in the uh, true fun fair audit style. Right, we've got a jerk chicken stall down here. Right, we haven't really got the food uh, fired up just at the moment, but uh, if you're wondering why that uh, barbecue looks so good, it's because she borrowed my lighter to light it. Now, that's why it looks so damn good, isn't it, darling? <laughs> you took it all off now. You took it all off? Yeah. So this one's called uh, Best Jamaican. There we go, look. Best Jamaican cuisine. <laughs> Rocking it out. Absolutely. Wicked out wild, right. So yeah, pop down and have a sample of that. We're certainly going to be having some of this tomorrow night. So what you got on there then, darling? That's jerk chicken, but it's annihilated at the moment. I've got to wait until I get some fresh one on here. Yeah. Oh, it's nice and warm. I know it is, isn't it? Oh, yeah. man. On a cold winter's day, you've just got the perfect job, haven't you? Absolutely. Look at that, guys. Look at that chicken. Go on. Oh, no. Shall I stay or shall I go? <laughs> <laughs> no, come on. we got to move it on. We'll see you tomorrow, darling. <laughs> right, let's get into the fair then. Driving home for Christmas. Chuck a few darts. Just 
just the same. Every player gets a present. Oh, that's it. Hey there, boss. All right. Yeah, all right. And uh, Mickey Mouse is doing his back on me. <laughs> well, <laughs> like every other bugger, isn't it? Just turn the back on me. So yeah, we would like to wish all our customers Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. You're the one who hasn't turned his back to Santa Claus. Yeah, I know. <laughs> there he is, there he is. He's thinking about it, he's thinking about it. <laughs> yeah, he's thinking. <laughs> we'll see you tomorrow, buddy. Right, uh, Harry Hebborn, he's got his uh, gallopers down here. Uh, built in Kings Lynn by the company Savage in 1883. And he has actually had a few punters on here this morning as well. Which was nice to see because it was fairly quiet, uh, early doors. But yeah, he had, a, he had a few folks on there. Lovely folks, Harry and his missus. If you're wondering about the uh, pay box, that was uh, A.B. Dancer's first pay box for the Wild Mouse. Which was a, uh, a Ravishon. Good place to have it. Billy. This was originally steam powered. Still got the uh, pipe in the middle and occasionally they will run it on a uh, steam power. Normally it's run on uh, DC. But on the odd events, um, they can run it on that. And off she goes. Can't have the music on too loud because Stratford Council are a bit uh, iffy, so. We're not going to have music blasting out at this fair. So unlike um, Lawrence Bishton's that we saw last week down in Worcester, which was uh, galloping horses and cocks, this one's uh, galloping horses and chariots. Yeah, alright buddy. Another lucky winner on the toy stall. Must be coming up to Christmas, he's had a, a few lucky winners.
Oh, that wind's definitely getting up. It's blowing up for something. Right, let's keep him moving around. Uh, got a twister down here. William Sheldon. Built by KC Enterprises and uh, it's been refurbished, this one, uh, by PWS. KT Enterprises built it in 1999 and um, PWS refurbed it in uh, 2018. And typically it's just stopped. But we'll have a better look at all this stuff um, tomorrow night under the lights. And he don't want to be on the camera. <laughs> Right, your centrepiece in the town, the American Fountain. Came from America, donated to Stratford upon Avon. Came from Philadelphia. And it was to mark the Jubilee year of uh, Queen Victoria. Got a couple of juvies down here as well. Dobsons with the uh, cars. Right, we'll get this one in from a distance. AK Rides, Star Flyer. Oh, this one was down here for Stratford Moth. Again, that was uh, under the lessee of uh, Bob Wilson's Fun Fairs. That one's owned by Charles Farrell. 2014, that was manufactured. Right, we're in. We gotta spin the cups. We gotta spin the cups. Well, that was pathetic, Ian. That was pathetic.
Now I'm always getting people to say to me, why don't you stick some transport on? So there you go, Bob Wilson's attractions. I'll scan you down there. That's your pay box for uh, Williams Twister. Right, we've got a good old set of uh, dodgems down here. Santa baby. Let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. Right now, the pay box uh, is separate to um, the uh, the Dodgums. Uh, this was owned by Beaches, the uh, pay box. But uh, as I say, the uh, the Dodgums themselves are uh, owned by uh, Simon Vaughan. Right, so yeah, this was. Uh, Manufactured by Supercar. Uh, 1957 and it's still all original. Apart from the odd nuts and bolts. Right, we'll just uh, pop down to uh, another store just down the bottom. There you go, a bit more of the uh, transport photos for all you uh, lorry geeks.
Right, so we're going to end up down at uh, Fishy Business, fresh, uh, fresh Fish and Poultry. Now, apparently they're down here on the uh, market uh, in Stratford uh, most uh, weekends, Thursday, Friday and Saturday, I do, I do believe. And they've got some lovely fish on there as well. So I'm probably going to be getting some uh, smoked kippers or something like that, and that'll be my tea tonight. So you got your pheasants. I've never been able to cook a pheasant properly. I don't know why. But yeah, here's all your fish, look. I mean, uh, he's got some really nice stuff on here. Sea bass, your halibut, farro salmon, with no antibiotics, no hormones, and organically fed. So yeah, the National Federation of uh, Fishmongers. Oh, you get your eggs on here as well, guys. Right. Always a good cause as well. Support the lifeboats. Right, fun fair order. So we're going to leave it here because um, we're coming down again and uh, we'll be doing the longer vlog uh, under the lights tomorrow. So, uh, oh, you can also find them at Tewkesbury as well. It's another place where they have uh, mops as well. Kenilworth, we've done a... Uh, Fun fair down in Kenilworth this year, uh, and also in Warwick as well. So, yep, they get around as much as I do. Fair play to the guys. <laughs> right, okay then. That's uh, fun fair audits. We're gonna love you and leave you for now, and we all uh, no, no worries, buddy. So we'll catch you again uh, for the fun fair under the lights tomorrow. Fun fair audits. We're loving you.